everyone, it's Miss Diana, and today I'm going to read a book. The name of the book is called Pizza Pie Snowman, and the author is Valerie Gorbachev. Pinky had a job to do for Mommy, to get a pizza with all their favorite toppings. He made a poem so he wouldn't forget mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. All of a sudden, bop, a snowball hit Pinky on the head. Pinky's friends, the squirrel boys, were throwing snowballs from their tree. Play with us, they said. Can't, said Pinky, I'm getting a pizza for my mommy. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. But the squirrel boys weren't listening. Bop! Another snowball hit Pinky on the head. Stop! Pinky shouted, and he kicked the tree with all his might. The tree shook and snow fell, covering Pinky from top to bottom. But Pinky didn't notice. He had other things on his mind. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. Down the road, the Skunk Sisters were building a snowman. That snowman is even better than ours, said one of the sisters. What does she mean? Pinky wondered. But he was in too much of a rush to find out. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. On Main Street, Pinky saw Mr. and Mrs. Wagner and their boy Ben. He saw Mrs. Schnauzer and Mr. Mutton. All of them were abuzz with excitement. A walking snowman? He heard them say. Where? Pinky wondered. Pinky turned the corner and heard again. A walking snowman? Pinky looked all around him. Where? Where? Outside the bakery, Mr. Withers, Mrs. Muzzle, Mr. Digger, and even the baker himself were talking about the snowman. And in front of the pharmacy, Officer Barker reported the walking snowman to headquarters. Pinky wanted to see the snowman too, but he didn't have a moment to spare. He had reached the pizzeria at last. Pinky rushed in and shouted, mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. One of the Coniglio twins was so startled, he dropped his dishes. A walking, talking snowman? Pinky didn't even notice. Mushrooms, mozzarella cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas. Mr. Conagillo laughed, a pizza pie snowman. Recognizing the pink little snout, Mr. Conagillo went to the kitchen to make Pinky's pizza. And while Pinky waited in the warm room, the snow that surrounded him started to melt. By the time the pizza was ready, the snowman was all gone and a wet little boy stood in its place. Pinky ran as fast as a small boy with a large pizza could. Did you see the walking snowman? Asked Mr. Mutt as Pinky went by. Home in a flash, Pinky proudly delivered the pizza to Mommy. It had mushrooms, cheese, fresh tomatoes, onions, peas, and it was still hot. And after their delicious lunch, Pinky and Mommy took a stroll into town 
They wanted to see the walking snowman too. The end. I hope you enjoyed the book. Bye-bye, everyone.